I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving equations. And thanks a lot for another request. You want to understand how to solve equations with fractions. Here are eight examples and I hope by the end of the video you will have all your concepts absolutely clear. I like you to pause the video, copy these questions and then we are going to take them one by one. I'm going to use two strategies here to solve all these questions. Let me call strategy one as cross multiplication. And uh, strategy two as get rid of fractions. Now cross multiplication also helps to get rid of fractions. Let's say the number is 3 here. We'll just take it on the other side. So we'll get rid of 3 from the left side. Now sometimes what happens is we have different numbers, right? For example, here we have three terms. Here how do we get rid of fractions? So in this case, we'll look for the LCM lowest common multiple will multiply both sides by lowest common multiple. So the strategy will be LCM times both sides. And then we will solve as a linear equation without fractions. So I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. Now let's apply the strategy to all these questions and solve them one by one. Now in such case, which is kind of a ratio, you could do cross multiplication. Let's understand what we are trying to do. Think like this. We have our equation as x plus 2 over 3 equals to 4 over nothing. So think we have 1 here. So cross multiplication means this 3 gets multiplied with the term on the right side and this term, the whole term gets multiplied by 1. You get an idea. Right? So that means it remains kind of same. That's what we mean. So cross multiplication, we are left with x plus 2 on the left side and on the right side we get 4 times 3 or 3 times 4, one and the same thing. So what we have here is x plus 2 equals to 12 and now this is without fractions, easy to solve, x equals to 12 minus 2 which is 10. So we get x equals to 10. Some of you can check the answer by placing 10. What do we get? We get 10 plus 2 over 3 which is 12 over 3 which is indeed 4. So that works. Perfect. So you may or may not check for the time being, but it's a good practice. So you may check. Okay. So I think the technique is absolutely clear. Let's apply it once again. So we get what? We get x minus 6 equals to 2 times 3. So that is x minus 6 equals to 6. x is equals to 6 plus 6. So x is equals to 12. And you can check your answer. 12 minus 6 over 3 is 6 over 3, which is indeed 2. So that's what you expected. Correct. Okay. So we have another similar kind of equation. Now here we'll apply both the techniques. So this one, I think now you can do easily. We can write this as 2 minus 3x equals to 4 times 5. So we have 2 minus 3x equals to 20 minus 3x equals to 20 minus 2. So minus 3x is equal to 18. x is 18 divided by minus 3, which is minus 6. So we get x equals to minus 6. Perfect. Next one. 
Now here, what we see is that we see three different terms. So, this technique is not going to work. We have to find the lowest common multiple. So, in this case, what is the LCM? So, we are using the second strategy. We are finding lowest common multiple for denominator. So, this is for denominator. So, 3, 6 and 2, the lowest common denominator is 6. So, we are going to multiply each term by 6. All right. So, let's rewrite this. So, we get 4x over 3 equals to the equation is 7 over 6 minus 5x over 2. We are going to multiply each term by 6 on both these sides. Do you see this? Now, since you do the same operation on both sides, you don't change the equation. But you could simplify it. So, so when you do so, you could get rid of fraction. That's the whole idea, right? So here, 3 goes 2 times, 6 1 time, and that goes 3 times. So basically, you get linear equation without fractions. 4 times 2 is 8, so I could write this as 8x equals to 7 minus 3 times 5, 15x. Correct? So 4 gets multiplied by 2. We get 8x. 7 remains as such. And 5 gets multiplied by 3. LCD also we call lowest common denominator. So we also call this lowest common denominator. And you get a linear equation. Now it is simpler to solve. Bring it to one side. So 8x plus 15x equals to 7 and when you add this 8 plus 5 is 13 so you get 23x equals to 7 so x is equals to 7 over 23 so that becomes the solution for the given equation so I hope these steps are absolutely clear so in this page we have seen both the techniques here we did cross multiplication And then in D, we found the lowest common denominator, which is actually the lowest common multiple of the denominators. Multiplying the same gets rid of the denominator. And then you can solve as shown here. So I, so I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. Let's move on and take up rest of the questions. Now, I would like you to pause this video, apply the right strategy, and then solve. So these two questions, we again have three terms, not just two terms, right? So what do you expect? In this case, we have to find the lowest common denominator, right? So let's find lowest common denominator. So lowest common denominator, which is 6 to 4, is what? Is 12, right? So is 12. Now, for some of you, how do we figure this out? Let's take that now. So to find this, we have a ladder division method. You could write all these numbers, 6, 2, and 4, divided by some common factor, let's say 2 in this case. We get 3 times 1 and 2. So 2 goes 3 times in 6, 1 times in 2, 2 times in 4. So we're left with these numbers. So the lowest common denominator, I should say multiple now because we found that, is 2 times 3 times 1 times 2, which is 12. So that is the technique of finding lowest common denominator. Perfect. So once we find that, we have to multiply by this number to all the terms. So we have x plus 7 over 6. Plus, so we are going to multiply this by 12. So that is this 12. Now 12 times half equals to 12 times x minus 2 over 4. As expected, all the denominators can now be cancelled with 12. So 6 goes 2 times, 2 goes 6 times, 4 goes 3 times. Now this 3 should be multiplied to both. Remember this part, right? Otherwise, you will get wrong answer. Same here. 2 has to be multiplied with both 
x and 7. So when you open this bracket, you get 2x plus 14 plus 6 equals to 3x minus 6. I hope this step is clear. We are multiplying this 2 with both the numbers, right? Applying the distributive property. Now you have to solve, bringing the x terms together and the constants together. Sometimes we know 3x is higher, we'll bring x to the right side. We have 14 plus 6, let me write 14 plus 6. This 6 coming this side will become a positive 6, 3x minus 2x. So we get x equals to 26. So x equals to 26 is our answer. Is that clear? Now let's do the next one. So here, what is the lowest common denominator? 4 and 2, it is 4, right? Since 4 is multiple of 2. So we'll multiply everything by 4. So what do we get? We get 4 times 1 over 4 x plus 1 in brackets equals to 4 times x over 2 plus 4 times 3. So here 4 and 4 cancels. In this case we get 2 times here it is 4 times. So when you open the bracket you get x plus 1 equals to 2x plus 12. Again, I'll take this x to the right side now since I see that 2x is greater. Bring 12 on this side. So we have 1 minus 12 equals to 2x minus x. That gives me x equals to minus 11. So I hope you appreciate this strategy of avoiding the negative sign with x. It also helps saves time. Perfect. Now let's move on and take the last two questions. I hope by now you have learned this strategy. Apply and solve these two questions, then check with my solution. Here, 5 and 2. So what is the lowest common denominator? In this case, the lowest common denominator is 10. So we'll multiply every term by 10. So what we get here is 10 times 2 over 5 times 3x minus 1 equals to 4 times 10 minus 10 times half x plus 2. Now when you simplify, 10 goes 2 times with 5 and 5 times with 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So we're at 4 times 3x minus 1 equals to 40 minus. So when you open this bracket, remember to apply minus 5 into both, right? So minus 5x and minus 10. So take care of minus sign also, right? So you have to multiply with both the terms. Bring x's together. Let's open this bracket also. So we get 12x minus 4 equals to, let's combine them, 40 minus 10 is 30 minus 5x. Bring 5x to the left side. We get 12x plus 5x equals to 30 plus 4 and that is 17x equals to 34 or x is equals to 34 over 17 which is 2. Perfect. So that is how you are going to solve it. Now let's take the last example. This is kind of different since you have x in the denominator. Do you see this part? x is in the denominator. So in this case, what is the lowest common denominator? It is 6x. Do you see that? Not just 6, 6x. So we are going to multiply each term by 6x. So we have 6x times 1 over 3 equals to 6x times 2 over x minus 6x over 6. So that gives you 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we get 2x equals to 6 times 2 is 12, x and x cancel, right? So we get 12 and here we get minus x. So see what happens, x and x cancels, this goes 2 times and 6 and 6 cancels. So we get our equation 
which is 2x equals to 12 minus x. Now bringing x to the left, we have 2x plus x equals to 12, 3x equals to 12, x is equals to 12 over 3, which is 4. So I hope the solutions are absolutely clear. That is how it should be solved. Go through these examples once again. So we have different types of strategies applied and these are sufficient to answer or solve any equation involving fractions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.